I'm back today with another exciting update from System76's Cosmic Rust desktop. Super excited about this one today, and I built this so we can test it out together. Shout out to Michael from the System76 team for letting me know about this feature, which they've also recently posted about in the System76 blog. Let's get excited about new window tiling features. For those of you using window tiling in Pop! OS currently, they are redesigning it. Right now, I have the mode toggled on. If I toggle it off, you can see how the animations have changed and how things disappear using the fade away animation. I think this looks super cool. Now, this is only a test case here that I've built to test with, but nonetheless, it kind of shows you the features that we'll be getting with the new Cosmic Rust desktop. All right, to start fresh, I'm gonna clear my desktop and then start a terminal, start up something like Firefox, start up another terminal, and let's just do NeoFetch in this one. I'll also maybe bring up the settings, for example. I can do that. That should give us enough windows to kind of play around with in this new tiling manager. I'm gonna to toggle the tiling on. You could see how the animation brought us all the windows up and started the tiling feature. Now I love the animations, but let's check out how to go around. It's pretty simple. You just do super and you use the arrow keys to get around and select a window. As you can see, I'm kind of going between all the windows here currently that are available. Now in order to switch them around, you'll notice something new. These are called groups. As you can see, the faint gray line around individual groups. This just means that these two windows belong together into one group. I'm super excited about this feature. Love how they're implementing it. And there's such a smooth transition between these. As you can tell, the animation looks great. And it's so much more intuitive this time because the groupings get placed together as you're actually moving your single window around the screen. It assumes you wanna be part of a group and you can group multiple things together as well as take them out all by doing super shift and arrow. Now, when I get down out of a group and out of a sole window, what happens is you can create a whole new workspace. As you can tell, I'm going between workspaces right now very easily. Up top, you'll see how one and two are changing and it's giving me even a third space. But when I go back up, it puts me in the last workspace with the tiled effect. Absolutely wonderful. I love how they've made that work. Currently, there is no adjustment mode set to grow or shrink your windows. And overall, I love what they've done to simplify their tiling. And not only to make it more intuitive, but I love the animations that they've created for us. When I toggle things off, everything slides away and I can use things just like normal as floating windows. Fantastic work to Cosmic as they're coming along. And no, not the same shortcuts will be used for tiling as far as the keyboard goes. Things will change a little bit, the main focus stays the same, moving windows around. I showed you shift super with the arrows to change the workspace focus. They've narrowed that down to super control with arrows, moving a window to another space, shift super control arrows to do it quickly, changing display focus. They've even put in super period or super comma, which is an idea that comes from DWM and many other things. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out as well. And I'm super glad I got to show you a live demo of the Cosmic updates that have been made to tiling. So make sure to smash that like button for me. Let's talk about what else they got going on with tiling support and this month's blog about the state of the Cosmic desktop built on Rust. This month's focus is tiling. Like we've seen, Pop! OS auto tiling brought users a fast way to arrange their windows on desktop for its next evolution. The main goal is to make tiling more accessible based on feedback we receive from the users. How wonderful is that, that they're actually taking our feedback and implementing it into the desktop environment to make it easier for us to use. I've already noticed a huge change between the tiling support from regular Pop! OS to this cosmic desktop Rust environment. It's absolutely fantastic. So intuitive tiling is the focus honing their approach on movement, visual guides, and layout flexibility. As we can tell, those animations have really helped us see how things are transitioning between. Instead of a hard reload on our screen, we see more of a transitional focus. Fantastic. First and foremost, Cosmic Tiling will do away with the adjustment mode. Currently, Pop! OS uses adjustment mode, Super Enter, to arrange and resize tiled windows. I was trying to use Super Enter quite a bit before I realized that there was new keys. And like I said, I have a link to all of those new keys and how they're going to be migrated, at least according to how it is right now, because of course that can change. There's much time for further development here in the next few months. They could radically change things inside the tiling. Basically being its own dedicated mode allowed flexibility tiling keyboard shortcuts, but also meant an extra step for users. Removing that extra step integrates tiling closer to your workflow and allows you to perform that action quickly. 
fantastic. A single shortcut for moving windows is easier to remember than a sequence of them. At any point, you can simply hit shift super arrows to rearrange the selected window group or stack and use super arrows to select a different window to be moved. If there is a workspace or display in the direction of the arrow press, the window or focus may migrate to that screen. I think they've made this super efficient and super easy to use. I have to agree with them. I really like the fact that the only difference here in order to switch between the windows and which window you're selecting or moving the windows around is really just the shift key. Everything else, it's easy to remember. You just hit the super arrows. Fantastic work by the Cosmic Desktop team. They're doing fantastic work over there at System76. Make sure to thank the developers over there. I really can't wait for this desktop to finally be released to us. Still no mention of when this desktop is actually coming to users or when there's going to be a beta. Currently there is the Cosmic Epic, but that's a pre-alpha edition of the Cosmic Desktop. That's pretty hard to compile at this moment. They do have some availability through the apt package manager to install something they call a Cosmic Session, but you have to do a few things in order to get that running. For those of you interested, maybe I'll make a video on how to actually build or compile, but it seems like a lot of people like me to do this on my own and then show you around the desktop environment. These videos have been really popular, so make sure to share them with somebody who's interested in a new desktop environment or wants to follow Pop! OS around. Let's talk about groups. Groups are marked by a light gray outline around two or more windows. When adjusting a window, only windows within the group will see movement. Your layout outside the group will remain un unaffected. You'll also be able to move, rotate, and size windows in the group simultaneously. Stack them together and migrate them to another workspace or display. I love that idea of building these groups that you can move all together to a whole different screen that you want to maybe work on a particular set of items that all kind of go together on a workflow. Love that idea. I haven't got to test that implementation quite yet, at least moving the group entirely. I didn't see the shortcuts available, but uh, it seems like they're working on that right now. We did see how the grouping works and they kind of show you below uh, how this is uh, working as far as groups go and how they're moving groups around. We don't have two screens on here, so not a big deal, but it would be nice to see how it goes between one screen to a whole nother monitor screen. The basic idea behind this tiling revamp is if you want a certain layout, you can achieve it by simply moving your window in the intended direction. This makes layouts more flexible and different kinds more attainable, like arranging three windows in equal thirds of the screen. So Victoria, one of the engineers at System76, finds the system to be more intuitive and better for them to use. And I personally agree. I'm loving the what they're doing with these revised shortcuts, as well as the grouping and stacking features that they have available to us. So they've also worked on stacking and combining the windows of one or more application like tabs and web browsers. In Cosmic, they'll be marked with an icon in the header bar, providing an area of movement for the whole stack at once with your mouse. So what does that look like? Here we go, we can see icons here. We can see the tabs up top and we can see the stack and there's multiple windows here with tabs at the top. They seem like they're similar windows. Your selective tab, meanwhile, will be indicated by an accent color to help it stand out visually. So we saw that with the blue accent around the window. For your selected tab in the window stack, you can see the selection shortcut to be the entire stack and then arrange it as a whole. When a stack has too many tabs, clicking an arrow on the header will cycle through extras. Take a look. So here is a demo of the actual tabbing and stacking feature in play. Looks like we're able to create whole new windows from tabs. Fantastic. I like the way that's done. It makes it very intuitive to move stuff around. What's nice here is that they're actually running multiple applications, it seems like, in the tabbing feature. So this seems like a generic window, which they allow things like Firefox and Slack to exist together, which is a very interesting way of doing things. I'd love to see how this works out. Let's now move on. Finally, rebasing the widget library. The widget library from Cosmic Desktop Lib Cosmic currently uses an older version of the ICE toolkit. By rebasing Cosmic Lib Cosmic with a newer version, the pieces made so far can become more efficient, making it much easier to integrate with one another. Looks like updating the compositor with the new version was great for the performance and allowed the team to in integrate animations from Cosmic Time into the tiling manager. Love sharing these updates and building them myself to try them out as the Cosmic Desktop environment is being built. If you like this video as well, make sure to show me by liking it below. Also, make sure to subscribe below so you can follow more of these updates in the future. 
catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.